rear guard as well in the form of Zeke, but the main challenge coming from Na'Vi from their spawn. Cloud able to take the first. Stark so is going to go down. Spike getting indentured now. Flash is starting to move through and utility invested. We're in a post-plant situation. Plus tries to move around the side. Fires face and it goes even. Ace able to get two but it's evened up yet again. With Arch able to take down Bone Cold but Cena dashes back behind. One tap and done. And now we're into a two versus two. The rear guard coming into effect. Zeke one man left standing or ascend. They managed to make it up to the site and he can't quite make it happen. Zeke falls and Na'Vi making sure everyone's calm and relaxed. Na'Vi potentially moving forwards here. Two players very close. There's the Leer. The flash comes out and actually Na'Vi able to get the best of one and SSK able to double on up as well. Looking for a little bit more but now they're pinned into the corner. Two players have to fight on out. And Na'Vi again able to rack up two. Now one player standing and it's again Zeke. Only the classic. Has one shock dart available and no recon bolt for another 23 seconds. Not looking great, but goes for the challenge either. And then just going to be dashing in. The Leer's going to mean he can't see anything just yet. Yeah, tucks him back in and in comes the Viper's Pit. They're going to open it up all the way over on the A site. And Ascend want to get this plant down. They've already managed to take down the Rainer. An excellent tool to breach into that Viper's Pit with the Leer, but not going to be available to them. Not anymore. Unfortunately, though, Bone Cloud taking more than a tickle. Inside that pit, the Seeker's going to be invested as well by Stark. So Ascend really want to keep this round going. They're investing here. Cloud not quite up to the Seeker's. No counter Viper's pit there. Zeke does go down and Arch gives them a chance. Flashes past and Ace managed to move through. Stark so finds one, but the spray transfer not quite on the ball there. And Arch lands a second as well. Taking down two for Na'Vi. It's two versus three at the moment. Cloud on one HP. Gonna look to recharge that. There's the spike looking to get defused, but I'm not sure there's too much time left. Have they managed to stick it? I don't think it's gonna go through. There was just not enough time. Mike now, whilst they know that SSK is over in the mid, but already the rotations come through. Challenge. CNED takes it down. Watchful from the top, and Bone Cloud doubles up. Finds a third for Stark So, and they've gone even. Managed to get themselves the advantage now. Three versus two. Spike planted. And they're gonna have to fall back. Wait for reinforcements. I mean, there hasn't really been that much to impede Ace in their endeavor on this round. You had a lot of presence from Na'Vi over on the other side of the map without bringing any Cypher utility. So just having to move in now, and they're just, you know, holding on. CNED actually rarely <laughs> missing that shot, but you can hear the time ticking down. CNED getting another kill for himself as well. I don't think it's really going to work in Na'Vi's favor here. Pokes the ponytail, pulls the shot. Onto the B site where there's not a huge Ooh. presence from Na'Vi and there definitely isn't now that Arch and SSK have been taken down. Mostly off Take flight. at the start of that pistol. And I'll try and hold out again on that B site. The snake bite just slowing things down, but it no looks way, like Carlson's going to worry a single jot about that. Forced to reposition as well with the Hunter's Fury. They pick it up, two HP left. Na'Vi give over the B for now, but the Viper Wall will fade. Dino able to get a shot through the smoke. Traded off yet again. Traded yet once Spike more. Cloud B. able to find the head on CNET. Again, you just gotta wait for these other players of Na'Vi to actually make their way around. Dino's just trying to shoot in through to the site, but you know, he's just got a marshal in hand, so already he's lacking the firepower that Ace are going to have in return. Left. There isn't a very easy way for Na'Vi to actually break into the site either. There's a kill, there's a second one, all right. I said he didn't have the firepower. Maybe I was mistaken, John. The value of the Sheriff. Oh, dear. Zeke has to fall back as well, and somehow... Na'Vi... Oh, SSK. <laughs> going to be stepping forward here, gets rid of the Trailblazer, but Dino the first one to fall in this round, so we're not going to be seeing any more of what we saw in that last round for now. I've got your trail. Snake fight to try and reposition, Cloud wins the duel with CNED on the hold, and they start off well. They didn't use the Viper's Pit last round, but they've got it again this time, and they will be able to move on forwards. Looking those shock darts, looking for some spots, but Bone Cloud goes down, and SSK takes away a massive tool for the post plant. Didn't even manage to get the spike in, and now Na'Vi just moving on through. Bone Cloud denied twice now on this Viper's pit. And Na'Vi able to take them down yet again. Ascend with just one player left standing. Cypher at the back. I think they know it as well. Arch checking the angles, looking for the flank, and wins the duel as well. Beautiful. 
You have to move around carefully. Stocks are lands the headshot. Really heads up to get the flick there. And now, even Stevens on the board. Uh, that was an unfortunate one there for Arch, because even if he'd been able to land that first kill onto Starzo, he definitely would have died anyway because of the trade potential that Ascend had. I'm interested to see whether Dinks is going to make much of a difference here. He has been tagged out by the recon dart, which might force his position uh, somewhat. And there we go. 30 seconds Killers left. gets him. Dino can't quite land the shot that he's looking for, and this is the perfect opportunity for Ascend to plant the spike. Now you've just got to send all the other defenders back in towards the site. We've seen this before. We have indeed. We've seen these post plants, but Na'Vi this time looks a little bit more keen to actually go for this fight. They've got it's pretty hefty weaponry. Don't have any ultimates available. But then again, neither do Ascend. This SSK first to face through the Viper wall, Stark so holding. Flash always oh, fades down. Needs to be on the ball, but back up from the other the rest of the team and Zeke able to find another. Now it's just Cloud. Save that operator set up for the main approach. Over towards A from the cave. Excellent pick there for Bone Cold to find Arch. And now they can really use this B uh, this site presence over towards mid to get towards this B site. 30 seconds left. This yeah, they've actually, they've really focused on their mid control in this round. But Cloud, not going to go down without a fight. Now SSK can, can start to strike, finds two, fades away with a dismiss, back into cover as well. Now, three players alive for Na'Vi, and SSK isn't done. Looks for more as well, spots out Cloud, the Zeke, sorry, the last player standing for Ascent. As they had a good start to it, but trying to take the challenges on the swivel. Looks for two, but can't get it done. Viper out to rotate. They'll know that it's not going to happen if the Viper's pit stays up. They are scanning for it, and actually they have managed to move the Viper out of it. Straight on in. CNED, Tailwind, Updraft. Moves on in, but Arch able to get some value here. Finally taken down, and that will drop the Viper's pit. Move them straight onto B, and in post-plant situations, Ascend typically have had the stronger performance so far in this matchup. Na'Vi with three as well, and late to the party. Bike is down, and the recon dart. I'm not going to find anybody just yet. This is the site where Na'Vi have seemed to be more fortuitous on their post-plants. So that's going to require a bit more proactivity from Ascend, and it's certainly going to pay off so far as two kills come in for them. And that's all they needed to do, just clear out the performances when they were on defense. Zeke coming out with the Hunter's Fury. Ace is, uh, Ascend is going to straight in go with the plant and Dinks with the opening kill. So Na'Vi, they're putting blood on the board. Who cares about the spike? They've left two kills down now. Zeke able to even things up just a little bit. Looks for more challenge with the Vandal at range. Able to get one. And now Starkso on the off. Spots Cloud turns beautifully. One HP. Still alive though and still a threat. Zeke. Holding last from the main. Standing. Stinks. Left to challenge the last. Used to be like this. Let's take a look at how this pistol's going to pan out. Ascend, open up with a volley. And able to get three for it. Traded for two. And the pistol's not going to work out so far for Na'Vi. But they have some info. A lovely one tap. But it's traded and the spike down, gets mid. dropped. Excellent control right now. A lovely shock dart to tag Dino oh, yeah. a little lower. Picks up the spike and now has a little bit more mobility. But the flank's coming in. The reload. Unfortunate. In the timing. But hey, when they can't afford an operator, you can guarantee he's going to be playing it straight in through the cloud, uh, the the wall. Just narrowly caught the pixel before then. Bone Gold coming up from behind, and Dinks can respond, but it's still looking better for Ascend here. SSK though, able to give them a hope. Three versus three, and actually. Ascend pretty lined up towards mid, towards those double doors. CNED looking to challenge with this Spectre, with the Sheriff, with the Marshal even. Goodness me, I'll find it eventually. SSK finds another with the Vandal at range, but CNED will not stop hunting. This guy is on the hunt. He's out on Safari, but finally he's taken down. Sprays potentially for Stark, so low HP for both of the Na'Vi players. Changes out. I don't think that's been communicated. You do want to keep that Spectre in tow if you know those health bars are the way they are. But three bullets is all he needs. Peeks out at the wrong time and a headshot come holding. Playing close with Stark, so Flash around the side moves through and Arch immediately dispatches with the threat. The Seekers didn't get it done, but now it's traded evenly. And at the back of sight, you still got Cena to worry about. Finds a shot over towards Dinks as the spike gets planted, but three players alive, a lot of damage sent on in. 
Moves through, spots a player, goes for the spray, but Cloud is pinged. The c -Ned trades it, yet again, finds a second, and Arch is dropped along with the Viper's Pit, over the top, the Tailwind, the Updraft, it's all too much. Didn't use the Neural Theft a ton uh, on the first half. I, I mean, c -Ned, I don't get to finish my sentences. I mean, it, it looks well. Most of Na'Vi don't get to finish their rounds either, but it looks like Dinks is going to try and make that story have a different ending this time around. Exactly they're all theft actually being dropped on in, as just as you say it. We'll be able to get the info on Take Their Time. Dinks spotted out, so they know there's this threat. Zeke, though, potentially unfound. Oh, caught on the rope, but sprays one. Oh my God. Gets two. God damn it, Zeke. What the hell was that? Yeah, I mean, my sentiments exactly. <laughs> I feel really bad for Arch here. He hasn't got many options trying to come in through Tube, and these last two remaining members of Ascend could be anywhere, and he's going to be spotted out by the Neural Theft. CNET is just coming straight up to find him. Get a Fiesta going for Ascend. He looks to get a little bit more going as well. Flash through, and Starkso able to take down Arch. CNED challenging, and yet again finding the kill. Starkso operating around this Viper wall perfectly. They are being traded off just a little bit. Two versus one now as Dino to try and save Na'Vi from going to match point. Picks up the operator. Looks to challenge. Well, they don't want to take that risk. One bullet left. Needs to look for the reload. Waits for Zeke to peek. Not quite going to happen just yet. Trying to bait out the shots and ascend biding their time. Moving around the corner for Dino. There's the intel. Moves faster, gets one. Looks for a second as well. Knows that he's playing close as well. Pulling out the classic, trades it out. This is a really heads up swap. The positions are known. Moves through again, fakes it. 40 seconds, a lot of time to play with here. Dino around the corner. But in the end. Oh man, what has happened in this half? I mean, this is what I was saying as well. As soon as we got to the half, I was like, wow, this is really close, but also we don't know. ...can take this first map away. They are going to be one step closer. Okay. Looking to try and go for the flash around the side. Stark so doesn't quite land the spray, but Zeke's there to take down SSK. Flash in response. Rotate. On the other side of things, you can actually see the rotate being made up through the defender spawn. Ah, oh, right. well, mid. you could always... Oh, and the spike is in the worst spot as well. Oh, it man, is, it's under is the... directly in the crosshair. <laughs> it's under the purview of the Guardian himself, seen it. Oh, no. Starkso's not going to let it slip either. Clown is going to go down. And now it's just Dino with it all to do. And no one to do it with. Looks to try and challenge versus three. The spray's just... Aren't they? Haven't even had to invest the wall here. Not yet, anyway. It looks like they are going to drop it towards the back now, finally. That's going to prevent a lot of rotates. Great cover being found. An ascend in a decent post-plant, but Dino finds the first onto CNED. Zeke tries to challenge. There comes a cropper. And now around the corner, Bone Cold able to even things up. Dino goes down. The tailwind into the cloud burst isn't going to see them safe there. And ascend rack up three quickly. Arch. To keep things ongoing at the moment, though. Arch gets first blood against Bone Cold. Drops the only Vandal they had. That's put into the hands of Zeke. Traded on over and traded off as well. Dino goes down. So no counter wall potential here. As it looks like B-Site yet again on the cards. Arch will be the player to face here on the site. Knows where they want to be holding. And the reload has to come through. They know that it's pretty safe after the mag gets emptied. Gilles shuts it down as well. And now Na'Vi have to go for the retake with three if they want to go for it. That is... Not really in the best spot to do it, but if they can find openings like that, maybe they just find something. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the attention for Na'Vi was being really split because of Zeke's position over in mid, but now that's being dealt with. Maybe they can get in, but not if Kiles is going to keep being on fire. We saw him pop off really in that previous round as well. It's a two versus two here, and time is ticking down. What is the likelihood that this is going to work out for Na'Vi? Cena just using Ooh. the updraft, getting some information, but it's going to be Cloud landing the kill. Starzo to return, and you can hear time ticking down way too much. The last two kills taken for Ascend. And that's a third round for them. Who has that option for short range? But, I mean, the first kill to be taken by SSK, so maybe it's going to work. I just worry it's going to be extremely limiting. And there's the wall to cover off the lower ground there. Only Arch really a threat. Up the rope you go and see Ned knocks him down. Easy as whack-a-mole. Peaks him, sprays him, gets the job done. That's aggressive and it's going to work out. See Ned with a 4k. And Na'Vi on the killjoy. 
from the agent that not available to ascend. I mean, they might be able to figure out Bone Cold's location here if that Killjoy utility does get triggered. It's not even needed. Inks just gets the kill straight onto Bone Cold himself as the attackers start to move over towards A. And we've seen Ascend really pop off on this site so far, and Zeke is certainly going to be carrying on the tradition. They make their way in. Oh, finally. Seen it. Mind away. The pick will be good. But gonna get Red straight back into the fight. Raid boss down, Raid boss straight back up. And now they hold the A site to ransom. Looking for the post plants and Cloud able to draw first. Zeke does go down, spotted up, playing close to the wall. CNED guards the cross but gives it up. Has to fall back, fade away from that one. Stark Soap holding the doorway up the rope, looks to try and challenge towards the two from Na'Vi. And allows the player up on high to move on in. Cloud goes down to a body shot. SSK able to trade it. One for one so far. And now it's just seen it. With it all to do with the knives in tow. Leads to turn the corner. Misses the oh. shot but stops the defuse. Will be able to get another shot moving around the corner. But it's a time. Oh. Did the defuse come through? I think it, yes. I think it managed to happen. No. I keep the Navi. Ascend moving forwards with the Empress from Zeke. Looks to turn the corner, Arch finds it, gets the shot, but now they know where Arch is and it's an easy triple turn. But here's the Hunter's Fury, and there's the Bulldog from Dino, the noise from SSK, to thread it. A sensible fallback there from SSK. To just go for a couple of shots and then immediately get back to safety, fall away, you don't want to be giving up the gun here. Certainly not against Ascend, who know how to play this one, SSK gets value, but it's traded off twice over. Killer's able to double it. And there goes the Viper's Pit. Classic post plant for Ascend here on the A site. Very difficult to deal with. Do you have a res on the side of Na'Vi? You have to... Well, not anymore, maybe not. It's just Arch and Cloud who are remaining. And the man advantage very firmly on the side of Ascend here. This is going to be difficult for Na'Vi to break into. The Recon Dart trying to find some location that they can work with, but really nothing's been found. So they just have to try and shoot in through the Viper's Pit really is slow and I mean this is what we talked about Na'Vi being ready and waiting to capitalize on mistakes and SSK ready and waiting to spot the skull of Zeke and the res immediately invested getting back to full force they have got their Hunter's Fury as well see Ned dispatched and Cloud finds a second SSK triples up and now two players stand Stark so able to give them some respite still have that Hunter's Fury available still have the spike in their control as well wall available goes on up goes for the boost but Cloud knocks it down Spike down now it's killers in a one versus three. Res available for Dino as well, should they need it. This is real good for Na'Vi, but there's the headshot coming through. Traded out, Dino gets the final. When they didn't have it, taking this A site, but in comes the lockdown. The major difference maker between these two teams, remember. Looking for the lockdown, and will be destroyed, actually, to stop any sort of presence that it may have had. CNED playing close behind the wall in a pretty known position but still very difficult to deal with shots up top as well for Stark so through the Viper wall finds three on the round two answered for Na'Vi Stark so and Zeke both fall now two versus three trying to push in for this retake Rez brings them back up to three but time is ticking away CNED plays close spots a player finds one wall is invested as well as Dino shuts it down for CNED up top spray down through the gap Looking to try and stick this defuse. Two players are alive. Needs to find the angle. They stick the defuse. Dino oh, is no. just going to make it happen. And Na'Vi again sneak it away. The wind goes through and it's 5 to 4. Oh, yeah, but also the real. Turning the corner. Bone Cold looks for it. Arch is there looking for enemies. Trigger discipline. Waiting for his team to get in position. They need to strike at the right time. And exactly that happens. They move through. They're already on the site. Dink's able to find it. But the rest of the team is already there. No res available with stocks are going down. That early into the round means that they just have to rely on their wits. No walls in sight. Zeke sprays down around the corner. Knows there's a player up on high and tries to line it up. But the heal is good. Gila's able to get the advantage back in their favor. And now it's two versus two in the post plant. Very difficult to move on through here, but they do have, you know, with the heels coming back off cooldown soon. Player standing. Unfortunately, lost there down for CNED. That's going to mean everything is here on Tequila. He gets one. Ahead. He can send out his dart, and because Cloud is on the spike, he does actually get spotted out. Now we put it in this tentative nice. one versus one. Tequila wins it. With out. that orb, they're just going to drop it. They want to get this last round. I mean, fair enough. Throw everything at the wall in this round because you need to invest it here. Bulldog 
with the double spray, will be able to tap down Kilos. So Hunter's Fury gets invested by Cloud, looks to try and zone them away, find Sark, so, so no res. So only the Viper's Pit on the ultimates going to be left to stand. So there comes the Killjoy. They don't want to let this one get destroyed, and no shock darts there. Trying to stay away from the Aldrone, will get spotted out, and that's really bad for Bone Cold, has to fade away. As the lockdown is going to come into effect, drops back, drops away, and now needs to challenge underneath it. With the Toxin going down, the reload's in good timing, and Bokol finds Ooh. one, two, but reloads himself. The Judge is there, and now it's CNED in a one versus one. Sniper versus Shotgun as the res comes through. Bulldog back in play, has the angle, misses the shot. CNED now in a one versus two, looks to challenge and lines him up. It's a 2K for CNED, and he can see Killjoy for Na'Vi. In position, but so is CNED. Spots a player, jumps around and lines him up. Kilos is there for the backup as well, and that's two more kills to be found. Cloud. Trying to strike down the tube, but really not going to go well. <laughs> Starks home. Oh no. Oh no. You can't be winning those. Dinks, you can't make that happen. CNED now at range in a one versus four as well against Dinks. They're just going to have to try and make the, make the challenges happen. CNED tries to bait the shots out, tries to bait Dinks into peeking. It seems like Dinks has better game sense than that. CNED just falling back, letting the rest of the team run into the crossfire. Oh no. <laughs> And Zeke lands the headshot with a ghost finally. It's watched. Allowed up onto the A site for now, but that's the spike dropped. Spike up on high, Bone Cold able to take it down, and there's the spray on the crossfire as the wall's gonna fall. Dinks is gonna go down. Bone Cold knows there's a player here, and they'll turn the corner. Disciplined on the timing. One goes down for them, but they're able to find everything they need. Two players go down for Ascend, but they're now on nine rounds. Up a formidable performance moving through, pretty coordinated. Around the corner, though, Na'Vi finds Stark, so looks for the spray down as well towards mid. Five bullets have to fall back. They want to be caught if the Viper Wall falls. Cloud finds a second as Killers is going to go down. Spike yet to be planted, but it's only a matter of time. Zeke taken down on the flank as well, and the threats that Ascend have just falling thick and fast. CNED last standing, dashes, goes on up high, gets the dart in and falls back. Zeke catches SSK, getting a little bit too aggy there. Those shenanigans will not go unnoticed. CNED now back up to face, but Cloud wins the trade. However, it's Zeke still to come back on in. In comes the lockdown to try and move on through. But Ascend, going to try and stay passive. Arch, though, not going to let Sleeping Dogs lie. Sprays down two easy lineups. And Na'Vi move in. Again, just be aware of Bone Cold coming in from behind, because while they've cleared up what they need to, they still just have to... You've got that Spectre and Vandal, but yeah, you're right. This is just trying to play on the linchpin. Na'Vi moving straight on through mid. Like a hot knife through butter. SSK moving on in. First to face, but it's two to go down. And shooting gallery. Arch Stoke on the ball. He spots the barrel. Oh, he knows where Arch is now. Stark so up on high as the snake bite to try and slow things down. See Ned trying to scan for anyone in the way. As the Vandal did get picked up in the meantime. Actually fairly even on weaponry right now. The Na'Vi need to be careful, but time is on their side. Spray down is there, and that's going to drop the Viper Pit as well as Arch is going to fall. Cloud on the back, looking for a flank that is not going to come, or in fact has already managed to move on through. Dinks, I'm going to try and challenge here. Zeke finds first, and now Na'Vi need to get the sprays. Cloud looked good for a third, but not quite going to be able to manage it. Half defused already, and Ascend come. Area, so Na'Vi could have an opportunity, but it won't take long for him to commute back. Look at SSK, he's baited everybody from Ascend to move on through. Will go down, sure, but Bone Cold now with a lot to do will be able to find one. Arch falls and now the game is given away. The spike getting planted and now the rotates can come through. Three versus four on this retake, but there's the res to bring Arch back into the fray. They don't have the Viper's Pit to hold for the post plant. CNED trying to turn the corner around on the high ground. Spots the turret, will take it down and swings out wide for Bone Cold. Gets taken down by Dinks. The defuse tapped. And Starkso finds Na'Vi. Cloud will fall. And now up on high, Starkso caught in the tube. Dinks finds a third. And a rear Got 30 seconds. It's going to be very difficult to make anything happen. A Hunter's Fury to isolate some of these defensive positions. But seen it over the top. Traded it off. Arch finds two. This guy is king of the double spray down. Looks for a third as well. But it's Zeke to find Dino. And Bone Cold to get one more. Bone Cold finally taken down. And now it's Zeke with it all to do. Can only find one. And Cloud seals the deal. We're up to 10 and 10. RV isn't going to push the defenders back though. I mean, that Viper's Pit 
means that they also have their own impedance, but they are getting out the way, pushing back towards that perimeter, and it's allowing Navi oh. to pass through. There's the kill coming in from Arch, and this could be where things start to come in. Zeke needs to stand up into the cloud burst, gets the spray. See Ned's there as well with the operator to try and chime in to boot. Zeke first to face, needs to try and challenge, needs to get at least one kill, at least some sort of presence. Don't know if they know that a player has turned the corner, but moving back in might have just afforded them an opening for Ascent to come back through. One player goes down, CNED spots another bone cold, able to rack up yet one more, and Cloud now last standing yet again. One shot's good, but two shots too much. Anyone were to come down mid, you would see, but actually uh, Ascend have changed their approach here. They're all going to be coming in through the top. Double Leers around the side. Here's the Hunter's Fury. The Res is in as well. Bone Cold back into the fight. And it's going one for two right now as Na'Vi get the better end of the deal. Killers finds a second as well. Now it's just CNED and Killers left alive. Left standing. Full left. HP. And the Operator in hand. CNED will not go down without a fight. Will not go quietly into this good night. Lands the shot but not quite around the corner there. CNED falls and we're going to overtime. Forward CNED playing up on high, moves all the way in, but SSK gets the better end of it. Na'Vi with the first pick and finds the second as well. Clouds doing work for his team to anchor A. At the back, Aquiles finds one, pushes through, and Zeke gets a second, dismiss away, and we're evens. Cloud though, ever vigilant, as Zeke finds yet another. Yet to really chime into the game, but does a lot of work here. More time to use it with the recon bolt back in effect as well. Knows that the flank isn't coming. Needs to be worried about the high ground. Won't have checked it. Oh, the timing on this one. Giving them the old dosy -si do, the rope a dope, but doesn't check up and instead goes down. Killers will go. Patient between these two teams when things start getting hard. Oh my god, Bone Cold is going straight in. SSK, the first one to fall. That's some information that's been gathered as well. These attackers are. Uh, Potentially going to find themselves seen. Ascend certainly aren't afraid to get aggressive when they need to, but again, it's all become a little bit static as they just wait and don't want to over-aggress. Nerves potentially setting in here, but around the corner, Stark so gets a little beautiful lineup, triples it up as well, and looks for a fourth. Finds it up top. It's a 4K Stark Soul. Hit these cheeky angles before, and the fact that he's flown under this radar is absolutely incredible. Spots one, two, and that's all he needed to do. Gets away with it as well. Scott free. Beautiful start. And what more can Navi do? They take down SSK, ascend. Look to try and answer back now. They've managed to get a little bit of an opening, and they find Dinks as well. At the back of sight, they spotted Cloud, who gets one, but taken down as well. Traded out. Arch falls away. And now, two versus two into the post-plant. Stark so. You know, you know, he really comes out in some of these clutch situations, but... Yeah, naturally not ideal. Arch has actually just spotted oh. his enemy, and... All right, then. Na'Vi take the round, even though for part of that round, it, I really thought that that was going to go towards Ascend. It was really unfortunate, actually, that, you know, SSK had these really... <laughs> I think, well, as, as, we, as we well know, the only way to get that answer is to wait and see. Ascend, though, potentially with their own sneaky-beaky angles. Looks for one dismiss around the corner as well, but it's traded. A really good start. From basically any angle that they would like, or set themselves up wherever they would like, Fina's going to be getting a kill there onto CNET. That could be particularly valuable as they start to flood into Kitchen. But do they know about Kiles? The potential for him to maybe get one or even two. Not he doesn't now. actually bring down the barrier orb in time. Not quite, not quite, but Zeke able to find one onto Dinks. Looks for the dismiss straight on through. Triple kill, can't quite find the fourth. An arch now left in a one versus two. Looking to reposition here. Has the spike in tow, but gets spotted out. Kilos seals the deal. We're going. We're able to get through to the site as well with only three. And they move on in. The wall is invested. They put it on down. The bolts are going, but SSK finally finds CNED. Around the side, they need to trade. They need to get an answer here, and Zeke will do just that. Finds two. Bone Cold with another, and Starkso with yet more. Dino now left in a one versus two. No res, and has to be worried here. Moves up on high, tries to turn the corner, the spike yet to get planted, spotted out, and wide swing from Bone Cold to be able to get... That's going to go, that's something else, but the alarm bot is going to get triggered, and there's oh. the opportunity for Dinks to take the shot, and he fails at getting the kill. Crucial pick there for Bone Cold, able to 
open up and control that mid. No flanks potential here. But they try and move back. CNED locks it on onto Arch. The spike has been planted in the meantime. SSK looks for the spray. Racks up two as well. It's a triple kill on the round. Knives out. Up high. Right click. It's good. And four kills now found. Looks for the fifth. And ace to try and keep them going. And it Freighter looks for the shots. Drawn up high. And instead it's down low. He needs to be worried about Cloud. Covers the off angle. But CNED's managed to get the high ground. Stark so is there as well. Bone cold to rally in. The wall's not there in time. But Arch will hold strong for the push. CNED will go down in three versus three into the post plant here. No ults online as is the way for overtime. And they're, they're into the post plant. Navi, they're coming around from both sides though. Look, things coming all the way around from the bottom. Arch gets taken down though. That puts them in the man disadvantage. And Ascend looking so much healthier here. They know that the options Navi have to come back in are severely limited. Look, Dino's just been stopped now that the wall's gone back up. Time is ticking down. Dinks gets a kill, but Dino to be the next one to fall means it's all on Dinks. And he's just going to drop the Viper's Pit. Will get felled, though, and it's now one versus two, but unfortunately dropping the Viper's Pit. You were able to find it last time around, but that was off the back of SSK popping off. Needs to try and do it again. Navi, back to fighting for their lives. Um... <laughs> <laughs> they were able to from this position, but it's not really going to work for him right now. They tried to force him out with the shock dart, but Zeke's going to be the one to get the opener. Excellent intel gathered there as well. They know there's another player further back. SSK evens the deal right now. But CNED, ever vigilant, takes down the opposing jet. And three players left standing. Dino, no res available. Ascend looking strong right now, but Dino may be able to get the shot here. Bone Cord will fall, but Starkso's on the flank. And now two players alive for Na'Vi. This is for the game, Geo. If they go down here, they're going to lose it all and go down to the lower bracket. Whoever wins, only one game away from sealing their position in Berlin. But the spike planted down on the A site, Zeke falls away, might have held the angle, Cloud evens it up, CNED still going, Stark so's there as well, up high, spots the elbow, will find one, knows there's another player, or should do certainly, that there's one more lower, and Starkso falls, a triple kill, and Ascend able to win.